What's going on guys? Terribly Tactical here and I'm super stoked to bring you guys this review. This is over the Strider SNG and we'll dive right into it. I've wanted one of these for so long and I could never pull the trigger on spending that much money on a pocket knife. For one, you could lose it. I've lost knives out of my pocket before. You know, and it, it, when it starts getting up to four, five, six hundred dollars, I'm thinking, well, I could buy a gun for that. And then I started thinking about it more and more, and I have a buddy who has a bunch of these things, and I've always knew about them, I've always been interested in them, I've always thought they were they were a sexy looking knife, I knew they were great, um, but after meeting him and, and getting to know him and, you know, playing around with his blades and stuff, and, and really, you know, an appreciation grew for the knife, uh, much more than, than I had for it before, which I already was stoked on it before, but... You know, playing around with his and, and seeing how well, you know, of a built knife it is and how solid it is and just how everything is so perfect on it, you know, for, for what it's supposed to be, uh, in my opinion, it's the perfect pocket knife. And there's a million other factors that play into this as well uh, for someone who's looking, you know, for something like this. And one of the main ones was, you know, I carry a gun every day. You know, I have guns for defense, you know, getting back to the, well, if it's that much money, I'd rather buy another gun, you know, because I love guns, you know, I'm a gun guy, you know, I collect this that, and the other thing, I shoot, you know, I train, whatever it is. But when it comes down to it, you're using your pocket knife, if you carry one, every day, multiple times a day, most likely, depending on what you do and, you know, what you want to do, but I'm going to use this knife way more than I'll ever use my gun. Now, obviously, I go to the range and shoot and, you know, stuff like that and train. But as far as everyday game time use, you know, actually doing work with this, this is going to be pulled out of my pocket way more than my gun from the holster. And this is going to see a lot more time, you know, being used, a lot more work. It's going to be super useful for me to have with me. And for something like that, you want to have the best. You want to have, you know, the nicest, the, the most robust tools. Just like a mechanic who buys Snap-on. Yeah, it's expensive, but the stuff's great. And it's going to last you. And it's going to take care of you. And it's going to help you perform, you know, your tasks better. It's going to be more reliable. And that's exactly what the Strider is to me. The SNG, uh, specifically in this video, I also have an SMF. Uh, a little bit nicer, a little bit more dressed up, and that video will probably be coming up in the next couple weeks or so when I get around to it. I've been super busy lately, and I got a bunch more videos to knock out before that one. But this one I wanted to bring to you guys because I'm really stoked on it. Um, this is the Strider SNG, just the regular Lego, uh, as known as it's known in the community, but listed on websites like Monkey Edge and whatever and on Strider themselves it's it's known as the flat or the standard pattern with the G10 peel ply texture G10 perfect texturing on it it's not too rough but it's it's more than enough to give you a great purchase on the knife um, they offer a double gunner grip as well which is like a golf ball dimpled pattern on the G10 as well as the lock side, the titanium lock side. And then the conceal carry, which is a radius rounded off smooth G10 and the same on the titanium side as well. Um, it, it also makes the blade a little bit thinner in hand. But, you know, I'm really digging the Lego, tell you the truth. And I, I love the ergonomics of the knife. I love the aesthetics of the knife. Um, the G10 is great, like I was saying, and it's one solid piece. It's an integral backspacer, which saves weight being G10. There's no need for liners or anything like that or extra backspacers. Keeps it lightweight, and it adds to the structural integrity of the knife, which is really nice. And I just, I just love the way that this thing is built. It's built and overbuilt. It's super robust. On the lock side, you'll see the Stonewash Titanium Lock. Uh, lock face and lock side, titanium stonewash pocket clip, and then we'll bust this bad boy open. Stonewashed blade, Strider logo, CTS40CP stamped, 
Made in the USA. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I love the stone wash finish. Uh, this is a user for me. For as expensive as it is, a lot of guys won't carry a knife like that. And if they do, it's just for show. Just to post a pocket dump. But I actually use this. I have been using this. It hasn't left my pocket since I got it. I use it every day, multiple times a day, and it's serving me more than well, let me tell you. But the stonewash finish is nice, because for one, um, when you're carrying this, there's, there's a decent chunk of the knife sticking out of the pocket, as well as the pocket clip. So you're going to be bumping into things, rubbing up against things, you know, the knife is going to get used and abused, as it should be, that's what it was made for. And having that stonewash finish already gives it that rough appearance as if it's been used, you know. And so any little scratches or nicks or whatever, you know, imperfections that you add to it are going to blend right in. And I love that about it because it still keeps a great looking knife with a great looking finish, a nice durable finish. It's going to wear and have great character over time, which it already does out of box, uh, in my opinion. And I say out of box, but they really just come in a little plastic baggie. Which is funny for the money that you spend on one of these, but it's well worth it, let me tell you. On the lock side, we'll see that we have the Rick Hinderer Lock Bar Stabilizer, which is awesome. It prevents overextending the lock bar when disengaging uh, the lock and closing the knife. That's an excellent feature. You'll notice that the hardware is black, which I like. It kind of gives a little accent to the, the stone wash side, so it's not just one Solid finish, you get a little accent there on the hardware, and then it matches the G10. You'll see the Strider stamping here. Just beautiful knife, uh, aesthetically. And it's super ergonomic. I mean, you wouldn't think so, looking at it, because there's a lot of hard angles, a lot of sharp angles. It's not very organic looking. But in hand, money. This choked up grip with the forward finger choil... The most comfortable and most controllable way, um, you know, to, to hold a knife, in my opinion. And I've never felt anything better, fixed blade or folder, than this Strider s &G right here. I love that. Back here on the knife and just a regular grip. Excellent. Perfect, perfect ergonomics. In reverse grip, you got the nice jimping on the back of the blade. Provides a great purchase for your thumb right there. You get a lot of control. You could definitely do some defensive work with this. Excellent texture on the G10, like I was saying. The jimping on, on the forward part of the scales is, is amazing, as well as up on the blade for when you're choking up, doing finer tasks. Gives you a lot of control. I really like that. Getting to the blade. Um, this is their standard spear point blade. I would say it's a little bit more of a drop point, but I'm not going to argue with Mick Strider. It's his knife. He could call it whatever he wants. Uh, so it's their standard spear point. It's super thick, which I love. Thicker than a snicker, let me tell you. And that's going to give you a super robust tip and an excellent piece of steel. Uh, 3 16 of an inch. You could do a lot of prying work with that and not worry about snapping your tip or, or your blade. It's going to be super robust and durable. Excellent, reliable blade. We'll look at the lock up here. Less than 50%, I'd say 40, 45% at most. Little bit of stick, depends how you open it. If you open it nice and smooth, barely any stick at all. And that's just the nature of the beast. I mean, these knives are meant to, to lock up super solidly and be robust and durable. So you could take it to hell and back with you and it'll have your back. No blade play side to side, up, down, whatsoever. I mean, this thing is basically a folding fixed blade, in my opinion. I love it. The fit and finish for a production knife, kind of mid-tech knife, I guess, not really, uh, is amazing. I mean, it's it's definitely not a mixed rider custom, but it doesn't need to be, because this is a user. I use this every day. It hasn't left my pocket, like I said. And uh, let's take a look at that centering real quick. Uh, looks perfect to me. If anything, it's favoring the G10 side just a hair. I could live with that. Again, you know, it's a production knife. It's not a mixed rider custom, so I'm not worried about it. And it's a user, so it's going to be used and abused anyway. Super smooth uh, deployment, as well as closing the knife. Uh, it's running on phosphorus bronze washers, so it's real smooth, but it's not meant to be super fast. Um, 
This one kind of free drops, not really. Got to give it a couple extra shakes. Giggity. But uh, just the, the aesthetics of the knife overall and the ergonomics are unbeatable. Plus, you know, the, the beautiful finish with the stone wash, it's a great working finish um, where you're, you, you don't have to worry about, you know, scratching it up or beating it up. I think it's the most practical. Plus, it's beautiful as it is. I, I love Strider stone wash finish. I think it's the best in the game. Titanium pocket clip provides excellent retention. There's no way this thing is coming out of your out of your pocket. A lot of people um, complain about that, but I think it's a great thing because hell, I'd be screwed if I lost this thing. There goes 420 bucks, and I, I don't want to lose that. I mean, I got another one, but uh, I'd like to keep both of them if possible. I mean, just super smooth action. And for as big as this knife is, which is about eight inches overall length, um, I think a little a, a little bit more, if I remember correctly, little a touch over eight inches in overall length. The knife only weighs four point four ounces, and you have a nice big thick piece of steel right there, which is amazing. And the lightweight is due to the the titanium, which is a super strong and super lightweight alloy, as well as the G10. I mean, G10 weighs nearly nothing, and yet it's still super robust, super strong, super reliable. And I mean, look at the blade stock on that. This thing is crazy. I mean, I'm super impressed with it. I know I'm saying super a lot, but this is a super knife. <laughs> like, seriously, I mean, just everything about it I love. The uh, the deployment is like the Spyderco's, but it's more of an oval shape. I think it, it looks great. It functions perfectly. These little studs right here are not necessarily uh, thumb studs. They could be used as such, but it's a blade stop to prevent over travel on the blade when locking up. Um, interfaces with the G10 and the titanium lock side. Excellently built. I mean, I, I'm just I'm just loving it. It's super reliable, and it's done everything I've needed it to do. You know, I've put it through its paces. I don't baby it. I use it. You know, for sure. Every day since I got it, you know, it hasn't left my pocket, like I said. I mean, it's just excellent. And it's, it's, there's a little bit of pride of ownership, you know, clipping this thing in your pocket every morning. And uh, it makes me happy just doing that. And every time I can bust it out and use it, I'm, I'm stoked. Um, razor sharp from the factory. Hair popping sharp. It's not going to be the best slicer, even though it's capable of it. The edge is capable of it, but with that 3 16 of an inch blade... Um, it's definitely wide behind the, the blade, so it's, it's going to just start ripping once you, you know, get deep enough into the cut. But, you know, it's more of a, uh, a medium to large EDC knife for, for heavier duty tasks, as well as an excellent perfect size, in my opinion, for a tactical folder. It gives you more than enough of a purchase and an excellent purchase as, um, at that with great grip with the jimping and the G10 for a tactical folder for defensive use, as well as, you know, prying tasks. You got the nice thick blade stock, you know, for, for whatever tactical activities you may be partaking in. Um, just super impressed with the knife overall. Here's the lanyard hole, which everybody shows. It's funny um, because there's really not much of a lanyard hole. See, with the blade closed, it kind of cuts it off a little bit. So I don't know if that's a mixed way of saying, yeah, you could put a lanyard on my knife, but not for long because it doesn't need it or whatever it is. I'm not much of a lanyard guy anyway. I mean, it's nice, but I wouldn't run any nice beads like some Starling gear or something like that because eventually it will get lopped off and you might lose it. CTS 40 uh, CP on the blade, mentioned that earlier. It's a modern version of 440C. And it's uh, created using the powdered metal process, which is excellent. And it provides a higher corrosion resistance to say, than, say, a CPM S30V, which is great. Because here in Chicago, during the summer, there's a lot of humidity. We get a lot of rain and a lot of snow in the winter. So I will take all the corrosion resistance I can get my hands on. Just an excellent knife, a great knife. I'm super stoked to have it. Uh, it served me well thus far and will continue to do so. And if I ever, ever have a problem with it, Strider Knives have a lifetime warranty.